Getting Instagram followers can be a really tricky thing, especially when you're starting out. So what is the best way to get discovered? I think many experts will agree that it's hashtags. If you nail this one thing down, you'll start growing your Instagram faster than ever. So how to use hashtags on Instagram in 2019? You're watching Dantrepreneur and this channel is all about making money with social media and growing a following with social media. So hit that subscribe button if you're into that. So before I teach you how to use hashtags on Instagram in 2019, we want to know why. Why do we use hashtags? They help your posts rank within certain hashtags. So you'll get discovered earlier, you will get more engagement, you will get more comments, you will get more likes, and in the end, grow more followers. So let's start out with some ground rules you really have to nail down. So the hashtags you use should be really relevant to your post. Let's say you post something about the dog, then don't use hashtag entrepreneur or hashtag jogging or you see where I'm going. Only use relevant hashtags that are concerning your image or video. And Instagram is actually smart enough to recognize certain patterns out of images and videos so that they'll know what your hashtag is about. So it will really hurt your account health if you start posting hashtags that don't relate to your content. So the second ground rule is stop using hashtags over and over and over again. I see a lot of people just reusing the hashtag they already used on previous posts. So that's a really wrong thing to do because this also will hurt your account health and Instagram will know not to promote you on the explore page. So the third ground rule is Instagram only allows us to have 30 hashtags per post. Try to stay below this. Try to use around 25 to 27 hashtags per time. Why? Because if you keep using 30, this will again hurt your account health. And the last ground rule is don't use the hashtags that have millions and millions of posts. So stay away from hashtag dog, hashtag photo, hashtag tree, whatever you come up with. Those general words just won't work. There is too much competition on these hashtags and you will have much more use from lower hashtags. So to really explain to you guys how this method works, I thought I would change things up a bit. So. So let me explain to you guys what hashtags are best to use. Well, we know that Instagram has a maximum of 30 hashtags we can use, so we want to stay below that. But what hashtags are that going to be? Well, you want to use sets of five. And what are these five sets? Well, you want one set of five hashtags that have between 10,000 and 50,000 posts in them. So whenever you search a hashtag, you can see how many posts it has. So you want five hashtags within your post. I keep saying the word post so much. Post, 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 postponing. So you want one set of five that has between 10,000 and 500,000 posts. Then you want another set of five that has between 50,000 and 200,000 posts. Then you want another set of five that has between 200,000 and 500,000 posts. And then you want a set of five that has between 500,000 and 1 million posts. If you have an Instagram account that has below 1 million followers, I suggest you not to pick hashtags that have more than 1 million posts. So if we add this all up, we know we have 20 hashtags we can use on a post, but we know we can use 30. So what are we going to add? We're going to add five more relevant hashtags that are really relevant to your post. So let's say you post a picture of some kennels in Amsterdam. You want to use the hashtag that has Amsterdam or kennels or boats if they are driving on them. So you see where I'm going. We want a set of five which has really relevant hashtags to the post. It doesn't really matter how many posts they have, just make them relevant to your picture. So with all this, we have 25 hashtags we can use on a post and this is the perfect set to gain followers. But besides that, we know that Instagram doesn't like it if you use the same hashtags over and over again. So what you want to do is 
repeat this whole process at least three or four times. So if you do that, you now have 75 hashtags to pick from on every single post. So now that you know how to do the hashtag research, it's important to know that within certain hashtags you have to get ranked. And how do you get ranked to get at least as many likes as the competitors? So this is really important. So when you do your research, it's really important to check out the likes of the competitors and if you're able to rank within certain hashtags. So to explain this, if the top 9 posts of a certain hashtag have around 5000 likes per post and you get around 500 per post, you're not going to get ranked because you can't get up with the competition. So only try to use hashtags where you really have a chance and have a shot. So if you have 100 likes per post, try to find hashtags that has competitors that also has 100... What? <laughs> that also has 100 likes. So what this basically also says is the higher posts there are on hashtags, the better the competition will be. And maybe if you can't compete with them, then try to use lower hashtags. So swap the hashtags that have 500,000 posts for lower ones at first, and then start building your way up until you get ranked at higher hashtags. So to really make you understand this method, I'll jump into my phone right now, and I'll show you guys what the method actually is and how you actually do it. All right, so when you opened up Instagram, do the following. Go to the search bar and try searching for words. So for now I say entrepreneur and go to text, click entrepreneur. Here you see it has 40 million posts. I'm never gonna compete with that, so it's not a good hashtag for me. But let's narrow it down. Let's say life, maybe there's some more. Entrepreneur lifestyles, it has 7,000 450 posts. This is a good range for me. So I check it out, I open it, and what you have to do is check at the first nine posts. See how many likes they have. So this one has 1800 likes. This one has 2800 likes. This one has 97 likes. Video has views. 255, 105, 59. 700 all right so if i have at around 1000 instagram likes per post then i can use this hashtag but if i have like 10 likes or 20 likes it's more likely i'm not going to get ranked with this one and i have to choose for other hashtags so what you gotta do is search these hashtags as we described before and get your batch of 75 up to 100 hashtags you can keep using and shuffle around and then when you've done this you've done your proper research and you're going to grow trust me you're really going to grow i know it takes a lot of work but reaching any goal is going to take work it's not easy in this world so you gotta work for this do this research take like one day to do your research do this once every quarter and you should be golden because this is really gonna help you grow so i hope this method can really help you like it helped me and i'm still using it every single month i do research every month and i suggest you to do the same if you have less time do it at least every quarter and this way you will start growing like hell on instagram but for now we're done with this video thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video then what are you doing hit that like button also make sure to comment and if you're really into social media make sure to subscribe because i can really help you with the content i provide and i'm a starting youtuber and i'm really happy with new subscribers so that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one